Welcome back to another workout series. This one is 15 minutes. My name is Abby, and we are focusing on your arms today. So this is just arms. There are no other cardio or endurance components to this workout. So if we want more of a comprehensive workout, I would suggest you do some cardio on the front end of this workout and or on the back end to make it a full body exercise, including getting the heart rate up. But we're gonna start with your arms today. You've got two supersets. Your first superset, you have four exercises. You're 40 seconds on and 20 seconds of rest if you need it. You don't really have to take it, but if you want it, it's there for you. All right, your first exercise, you're gonna grab one of your bands. You're gonna step on your band with both feet, feet or hip width apart, parallel. You have bicep curls, palms face up, soften the bend in your knees, chest is proud, shoulders down and we're working your biceps. Curling all the way up, really engaging your bicep muscles. Core stays tight. Now, if this resistance is too much for you, you can always step on the band with one foot. Standing up nice and tall, your tailbone is heavy. Continuing with your biceps. Next exercise, you have tricep kickbacks. You're using the same band, Again, you can step on this with both feet. A little bit more resistance or one foot. This time, hinge forward from your waist. Back is flat. Arms come all the way back and then bend at 90 degrees. So extending through the elbow joint, engaging your triceps. This one you can really feel. Again, 40 seconds on the clock. Beautiful, next exercise. Take your smaller band behind your chest. Now, this one, you wanna put the band in your hands, bring it up to your upper back. From here, standing nice and tall, soft bend in the elbows, you have a chest press forward, sending that band in front of you, engaging right where your arms meet your torso. So pressing the resistance out in front of you, keeping your elbows at a nice 45 degree angle and locking in your core. Again, 40 seconds on the clock. Beautiful. All right, your last exercise in this first superset, you have tricep roll-ups. Now, we can do these on the knees or if you wanna up-level this exercise, you can come to the toes. I'm gonna start on my knees today for you. Pressing your forearms into the ball, make sure that your hips are forward so that your hips are on the same trajectory as your shoulders. From here, I'm gonna press my ball out away from me and I'm gonna come all the way up to my hands to engage my triceps. So we call this a tricep roll in on your ball. A lot of core engagement, but a lot of tricep extension through the arms. That's your first superset. Okay, for your second superset, again, four exercises. We're starting with your bigger tube. You'll step on your tube, again, with one foot or with two feet for more resistance. You have a bicep curl into a shoulder press. So all the way above your head, bicep curl, and then into that shoulder press. Now, if that resistance is too much for you, you can add a little bounce with your legs, okay? So you can get that resistance up above your head a little bit easier, right? So we're working the biceps and the shoulders all in one. Okay, next exercise for your arm series. Let's go ahead and grab a mat just to protect your arms, especially if you are doing this outside on a nice, gorgeous day. You have plank ups into shoulder taps, so you'll start in a high plank position. Gently come down onto your forearms, back up to your hands, and tap opposite shoulders. Again, back down onto your forearms and your hands, tap your shoulders. Make sure when you're doing this that you keep your hips nice and square and you get your hands right underneath your shoulders. So your hands actually replace your elbows in that high plank position. Then we'll grab our smaller band and you have one foot in one of the bands. Soften the bend in your knees. Single arm bicep curl this time. And you know what? Let's take this one across the chest. Just to add a different element 
to your biceps. So we'll go across the chest. So obviously we'll do one side here for the first round and then you'll switch on your second round to the opposite side. Lastly, you'll take this band behind your back once again, just like in superset one. We'll hold one close to our chest and we have single arm press. Now this one you can do one arm first, second round, the opposite arm, or you can alternate. So you're pressing one and then the other for the entirety of the time. Okay, that is your arm sequence. Two rounds, two supersets, four exercises on the front half, four on the back half. Let's get started.